you should try heavily limit, if not completely avoid this food category. And I know it might be a big call, but stay with me. When poorly unsaturated fats are unstable and exposed to heat or UV light, they oxidize easily, creating lipid peroxides and free radicals that damage your mitochondria. And your mitochondria, the very energy producers inside your cells, they need to function because you have those mitochondria also inside your eggs. Now, research consistently shows that oxidized PUFAs increase oxidative stress. They disrupt your cellular membranes and then contribute to mitochondrial dysfunction, which infertility really matters because healthy eggs, they need healthy mitochondria. Now, it gets worse here when these fats are repeatedly heated, like, well, when you go to a fast food restaurant or if you are eating constantly processed food out of a packet, there, they reheat this stuff over and over again in commercial fryers or, again, processed foods. I've seen it with my own eyes. They praise themselves for being efficient and not changing their oils for over three to four weeks. That's disgusting. So they're reheating it over and over and over again. And that can form harmful aldehydes and other oxidation byproducts that are linked in the literature to DNA damage and inflammatory pathways and also carcinogenic changes. I'm not making this up. Research, you will find that. So what I'm talking about is, we're talking here about seed oils, canola, sunflower, safflower, soybean, corn, cottonseed and vegetable oils. Now, when you join my fertility circle, one of the weeks we go in deep, deep into that because this isn't just a health trend topic here because it really affects your hormones, inflammation and cellular energy. And what I just gave you there are main and topic reasons, but that's not all because we also have to talk omega-6 and omega-3 ratio. Seed oils are extremely high in omega-6 and when that ratio is wildly imbalanced, it creates a pro-inflammatory environment in your body. And that impacts your ovulation, the quality of your eggs, implantation, and the signaling of your hormones. So if those two reasons didn't already, you know, rang more than a bell, mitochondrial stress and toxic oxidation from the heat. Now, then we add on top chronic inflammation. Rethink your oil choices, the ones you're using at home, but you honestly have to rethink as well how often you eat out because in restaurants, they don't use olive oil. That's too expensive. They use seed oils. So limit going out. And now it's not about being perfect, but it's about unburdening your overall system. And it's less inflammatory stuff we add is better our reproductive system can thrive.